Hey everyone, this is Somnath Gowdar from Future Coders. In this video, we are going to be building this, as you can already see, a digital clock using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. As you can see, it, this is actually a 24 hour format digital clock. So this is what we will be building. So before we start building this, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, now inside of our Visual Studio code, inside index.html, let's generate our HTML boilerplate by pressing exclamation and pressing enter. Let's give the title as digital clock. And let's also link our local CSS file and our JavaScript file that's going to be script.js. Okay, now let's right click and open with live server. Okay, this is gonna open our project in the live server. If you don't know what is live server, make sure you install this extension from the this marketplace by searching for live server. That's going to be this one. Okay, back to our project. Let's inside of the body, let's define a division with the class name of clock. This is gonna hold our clock okay now over here let's define a container with an id of hour and initially it's going to be zero and then i'm gonna define a span tag just uh what do you say a colon okay and i'm gonna have a minute so here i'll define a Div with an ID of minute and same thing we are going to have a span tag with a colon and finally we are going to have also a second right so here seconds okay we also need to set it uh, initially as zero okay that's it for HTML now let's head over to our styles i'm gonna use a custom font from the google fonts so let's make sure we install it uh, sorry import it that's going to be this open sans let's search for it okay this one i'm gonna need um let's say this bold 700 let's copy the import code okay now by default our browser actually sets some default margin and padding so i need to get rid of the rid of those by saying let's target everything and margin zero padding also zero and let's also set box sizing to border box now let's target our whole body Let's set the height. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's sorry for this. Let's ask, let's set height of 100 view height. And I'm going to set a background of a linear gradient to right. That's going to be this color 9472 and f2 709c okay now let's make sure you align them perfectly in uh, horizontally and vertically by saying display of flex align items to the center justify content center okay now let's also set our font family which we already got font family I need to get rid of this. Okay, now font family. Let uh, we also import. We import the open sans, right? So here I will say open sans and a fallback of font of sans serif. Okay, there we have it. Now let's target the clock, which is containing our 
hour, minute and seconds. Here I will say clock. Let's say width of 550 pixels. And let's also set the height of 150 pixels. Display of flex. Align items to the center. And justify content. Sorry. Justify content to center. Now let's target the divisions which we have here. All of these divisions. Actually, we have only three. So let's target those by saying clock and div. I'm going to set the background color to white. And I'm going to set height of 100%. Width of let's say 150 pixels will do that will do okay and let's align everything centrally that is inside the divs so here I will say display of flex align items to the center justify content to the center okay now let's make the fonts a little bit bigger font size to 60 pixels okay and I'm going to set the color of those fonts, sorry, of those text to this one. And let's also set the border radius to 5 pixels. Box shadow of 0, 15 pixels, 30 pixels, and the RGBA value of, let's say, 0, 0, 0, and the alpha value is going to be 0.3 okay now let's also set some letter spacing of three pixels okay that's looking great okay now here i made a mistake justify content is going to be let's say space between this one okay there we have okay still still need to style the span over here let's target the span tag which is present inside the this clock these span tags okay let's target the clock and span and for that i'm going to set the font weight to bolder bolder actually and font size to 60 pixels not 560 pixels only 60 pixels okay and i'm going to turn the color to white Okay, there we have our completed front end. Now we need to actually work on JavaScript. So let's work on that. Inside the JavaScript file, make sure you also link the JavaScript file. We need to have access to this hour, minute, seconds. Right? Remember we gave an ID of hour, minute and seconds. So I can get, get these DOM elements by saying document.getElement by ID. So here, let's define the const. For the hour, I will say document dot get element by ID. I gave uh, ID of hour, right? So similarly, I need to get minute, and I gave it an ID of minute, and finally seconds. Okay, now we have access to our minute and seconds. Now let's actually call a function const clock. And for this, I'm going to call a function. I'm going to call the function called a set interval. So here I will say set interval. This is going to fire off the function uh, based on the interval we provide over here. And for this, I'm going to, I want to run this function every second. This is a millisecond value, so one one thousand milliseconds is equals to one second. So here we need to define a function, a function of time, and inside. Okay, I don't need the arrow. Okay, inside 
I need to have access to the date right today's date so here I will say let date today I can get the date by saying by calling the object date object here now if I console log to show you date today let's see this is gonna this function is gonna run every second so it's uh, let's see in the console that yeah, that way you will understand better as you can see every second uh, let me refresh as you can see every second it's gonna give me the time as you can see the seconds are actually changing over here okay now we have access to the uh, date right now we uh, now I can grab the hour minutes and seconds easily so here I will say let hour I can get it by saying date today and calling get hours and similarly I can do the same with minutes and seconds for that I need to say get minutes get seconds now if I console log to show you what we have here our minute and the seconds as you can see we have our our minutes and seconds right now all I have to do is append it now interesting thing is uh, actually we specified here to uh, the seconds as two digits right so but here it is giving only one digit so we need to actually add some if statements here I will say if the hour is less than 10 as you can see is it was less than 10 that is 8 so it was having giving only single single digit right we need actually two digits so here if hour is actually less than 10 I want to concatenate, concatenate 0 to hour when the hour, is, hour value is less than 10 so similarly I need to do it same for the minutes and seconds here I will say minutes and over here also and similarly for the seconds okay now all I have to do is append these values to our these DOM elements so here all I have to do is we have access to the hour right so here we have access to this whole division container so here I will say hour dot text content I'm just gonna update the text content initially it's zero right I will just I will append it as hour whatever we have in the hour as you can see we have 23 similarly let's also do it for minute and let's append the minute this value and let's also for seconds now as you can see there we have our 24 hour format digital clock so guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and also don't forget to leave a like on this video so i will see you in the next one